Well, welcome to the year 2019. Yay! Sorry, my face is just finished rocking the dog, so kind of frozen face, although it's not that cold out today. 2019, January the 1st. So we're starting over again with our reading through the Bible in a year. And uh, today we read through Genesis 1 to 3. And every, every year you'll find that we, uh, there's, there's a different emphasis because uh, there's so much. I mean, you start off with these first three chapters and there's so much that we could just spend some time talking about and dealing with. Uh, but where we are right now, we're going into a year where we're going to attack some mindsets and uh, get things um, where they're supposed to be. Or at least uh, open ourselves up to those things uh, changing in us. Uh, we will repent of the wrong mindsets and we'll invite in uh, the proper mindset. And uh, one of the things, and I'm seriously looking at this for the next few weeks, uh, delving into, is the uh, the wrong mindset that the church has established for a very long time uh, towards women. There's uh, there's three groups. You know, we, we talk about the kingdom of God as a, a kingdom of honor, of honoring. and But there's three groups that, that we give ourselves permission as the church um, to not show honor to. Uh, the very first is is children. Um, you know, children should be seen and not heard. You won't find it anywhere in the Bible. Um, the Bible talks about honoring children. Um, it really uh, speaks to dads about not exasperating their children, not frustrating them. Um, but we won't. That's not what we're talking about today. Uh, the the second. Let's go with the third one. The third 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 group is uh, those who get uh, caught in sin. Um, and the reason I say caught is because uh, every, every one of us have failed at one point or another and have not f uh, faced any kind of consequences to that. Um, we've taken it to the Lord. We've repented of that. It's been dealt with in, in, in private. Um, but we really uh, dishonor and attack those who get caught. It's like, hey, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dishonor you because you were too stupid to hide this. You got caught, you know. That's kind of, but we're not talking about that group today. And then there's the then there's the the, the second group, uh, which is women, and we, how we've given ourselves permission as a church to dishonor women, and it's just absolutely uh, crazy. Um, so when we look at this, when we look at, at the creation, when we see that a God formed a man, that's a species man, and he made man, male, and female, but he, he, he formed man from the topsoil. It's important to note that from the topsoil. Um, and he breathed into him, and, and he created man, that's male and female, after his own image. Um, has set us apart and in fact he gave us dominion over everything he said let us make man that they will have dominion over the fish and the birds and and, and all of nature we were given dominion over these things and uh but we're not going to go down that road today either but he he gets to the point he says you know it's not good for 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 adam to be by himself not good at all. Now here, uh, God could have just formed Eve a, a, again from the topsoil, but but He doesn't. He does something very unique here. He takes a part of Adam, and He fashions doesn't form. He fashions women from that part that He takes from from Adam, and some people will have a difficult time understanding this, but. But when, when man was for he was made male and female, he was one as, as God is one, as God is, you know, all, all things. Adam was made in that, that's a word, man was made in that way. Um, he was male and female. And then God took the female part out of, of man and formed woman, who was later named Eve. And... Um, he, he didn't take the bad stuff, the secondary stuff out of, out of Adam. He took a certain set of strengths uh, out of Adam because Adam um, needed help in the work that needed to be done. He didn't create Eve to be a secondary citizen of the kingdom at all. He didn't, he didn't set her up. That's not, what, um, that's not what the sense of, 
You know, we've translated it as a helper. We've translated it as help meet, but it, that doesn't really work because the original language that is used for, for Eve uh, two or three times was used twice for, for armies, and but most of the rest of the time, seven or nine times after that, are, are used only, God uses it for himself in his relationship with, with Adam. And why was it that he was creating uh, Eve for Adam? Because God was not always with Adam in the garden. And God wanted Adam not to be alone, so he created um, um, a partner for him that it had the same sense of God's purpose for Adam, that God was there to complete Adam, to assist Adam, to help Adam um, achieve his, his mission, his purpose. Now, uh, that doesn't mean that, that God came in it's subservient to, to Adam at all. And, and so Eve has the same word that is used to describe God, applied to her, and she is there to, to complete the mission. Uh, Adam can't do it. Um, in just the, the male form, he needs the female form, and the female form was taken out of Adam so that Adam wouldn't be by himself, that he would have company. So he, his best company that Adam could have was himself, which is Eve. And that's why the word says well, the two will become one, uh, because they were one to start off with. So you have Eve being um, a co-partner with Adam in this mission of of reigning over um, or having authority over the all of creation, and uh, and then they would they they would have children who would also come into that same partnership um, that 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 was there. So it, it's yeah anyway it, it goes. There's so much more, and and I want to invite you to to uh, come out for the next few Sundays because this we're going to delve into this. We're going to destroy this mindset that is there, at least for our tribe, uh, because I don't want fifty percent of the workforce. Uh, it's more than fifty percent in in our church, but you know what I mean. I, I don't want any any anybody in our church thinking they're secondary. Um, they have a secondary role at all. We all have the same responsibility, and we need to see how that that comes forward into the new covenant and um, understand uh, everything that Jesus did and, and yeah, yeah, all of that. So it's really fantastic. But in this, I want you to understand that Eve was not put there as, a, as, a, as an intern. She was not put there as an apprentice. She was not, she was not there as um, uh, somebody to entertain Adam at all. Adam needed Eve to complete his mission. Adam needed. And there's a reason. You, you understand this. Eve was not made as, as, a, as a wallflower. Um, she had authority and, and power. And, and uh, it, it's, it's really interesting to see that when the, the, uh, the enemy came in, see, what, the enemy will not attack the weaker. Can, can I tell you that? When, when you want to influence, listen, if you want to influence, you'll come and influence the head. Um, not, not, if you want to have influence in an organization, you're not going to go and, and become friends with the janitor. You're going to go and become friends with the, the CEO. Uh, and so in this case, we, we can understand that Eve had a great influence over everything that was going on in the garden. And so the enemy came in to influence her. And, um, and, and we know how that turned out. And, and it, it's just human failing. It's just human failing. It's not because uh, Eve was weaker than Adam. Um, it's, it's just it was human fa uh, failing and she had influence over Adam and we know how all that worked out. So that's a lot to say on January the 1st and a lot to take in. Um, it's food for thought. Look into the uh, original uh, language and uses of the words, uh, especially when it comes to what has been tra translated as helper or help meet, and, um, and and understand. Yeah, we got to understand this. We got to get a grip, grip, grip of this. At least we do in our tribe for what we have uh, going forward. So you'll be blessed in this day, this very first day of uh, January uh, 2019. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the Lord's going to do. Aren't you? God bless.